What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We got an exciting day today. This is gonna be the last time these black wheels are gonna be on the Dodge Charger. We're finally gonna get the new wheels on, put the new tires on, and I'm super excited, but we're kinda late, so we gotta head over to the shop and get all this situated. everything else in the car already. We actually got both cars loaded up. But we got all the tires in my car. These things are absolutely huge, so they barely fit. And then we got the wheels in her car. Take a look at this. We gotta buckle it in, make sure she don't go nowhere. Gotta stay looking pretty. I'm just gonna be smelling rubber the entire way here, but let's head over to GR Automotive. They're the ones that are gonna be installing the wheels and the tires today. Super nice guys, by the way, I'm excited. So we just got over to GR Automotive and there is absolutely so many cars here. Their parking lot, it just doesn't have space anymore. We got some E30s, some E36s. You got the Dodge here now. They're, they have everything. And for this, look at that. Absolutely. Passenger seat exciting last few days as you guys just saw we got the new wheels on and they look absolutely amazing I'm still getting used to them I will say it takes a bit of time I'm so used to running black wheels all my cars have had black wheels this is my first time running a polished lip setup and I honestly love it like I said just getting used to it in the meantime we got the other wheels off I got them inside the garage and as you can see they're already gone I already sold them the day after I got them off the car they were already sold made some money back I got a lot of projects going on so having some money back was nice but let me know what you guys think about the wheels down in the comments. We got the fronts right here. I'm running a 295, 35, 20 in the fronts. This is an 11 inch wheel with about a negative 50 offset. And in the rears, we got a 20 by 12 and a half. We're running a 315, 35, 20 here as well um, with a negative 65 offset, negative 60 offset. We still, we still got a little bit more space that we can bring the car out. So I'm gonna bring it out about 10 mils. And we are running some Nitto uh, NT triple five tires. These things have been great to drive on the last few days. I'm not a very fast driver. I don't really like to get reckless on the road or anything. I've never had the experience of hooking up on this car unless it was a very, very hot day. And I can finally hook with these new tires on. These new Nitto NT triple fives are amazing tires so far. I did get someone message me and saying it is a little bit loud to drive on, but compared to my other tires, they're not bad at all and so far I've had great experience with them. I did get a proper alignment. My alignment with the spacers was absolutely horrendous and I didn't know how bad it was until I went to the alignment shop and got all of that done. But now everything should be dialed in. Uh, we're not having any rubbing issues, except some small rubbing right in here, but really isn't a big deal. It's just gonna rub away eventually. So 
One thing I love about the setup is that you can see how thick the tires are from the rear and the wheels actually match the exhaust tips which I put on recently. But yeah, overall super happy with how the wheels came out. I think the car looks amazing. Now it is time to throw a front lip on because the car looks a little bit higher for some reason. Even though we didn't mess with the ride height or anything, I'm just guessing the tires in the front are a little bit bigger. So because of that, the car's sitting a little bit higher but I'm talking to a few different companies to get the right lip on here and get this thing looking a little bit prettier because there is a lot of imperfections on this car and I'm gonna spend this year hopefully to get those all addressed and get this car looking as good as it can. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. We're gonna get right back to working on the E30 here. We're still waiting on a few more parts to come in, but we got the dash in, carpet, got the rear seats back in and yeah we're just waiting on center console door cards and a bunch of miscellaneous things that we have around for the seats we got a new steering wheel on the way we got a new short shifter on the way we got new dssrs uh new trans mount bushings all of that needs to go in the car within the next month so you guys are going to see a lot of e30 content coming up pretty soon and then we can finally pull this car out the garage and actually drive it. We've got a few car meets coming up, so I'm definitely gonna be taking this car. But again, let me know what you guys think of the Charger down in the comments. Do you guys like the wheels? Do you not like them? Should I lower the car a little bit more? I really don't want to, but I think it would look nice. But definitely drop your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.